in the last few videos we discuss about the delete and the update operations in this video we are going to use the insert operations okay so uh, i'm just going to write a new class called dml o p e r a t i o n operations okay create a method called public static void insert method okay and in this method we are going to see how can you insert a data let's take account object okay so we are going to insert record in the account object when you insert a record in the account object just check what are the mandatory fields you have in account i think only account number is the mandatory field so i'm gonna go back here and this is the syntax to create a record from apex code okay you first have to create a reference variable of account you got it you first have to create a reference variable of account acc is what is a reference variable of account object whatever you do with acc this will reflect in the account object it's a reference variable now with the help of reference variable i'm going to put like acc dot name is equals to i'm just initializing the name so one is equal to uh, rajesh testing record good and uh, account number acc dot account number account number is a string so i'm gonna put quotation three to one is there any other field that you want to add just put acc dot that field let's say active active is a checkbox i'm gonna put true that's it so you can keep adding all the fields like this and in the end all you need to do is insert acc very simple we have got an error here line number eight active let me see what is that error it says illegal assignment from boolean to string i think active is a string type of variable i thought it's a it's a boolean it just take true and false it's basically a string variable so because it is a string you have to put quote here control s and here we go my error has gone if i go and call this method what will happen it will simply insert the data just call this method dml operation dot insert method simple this is going to call the method and i'm just unchecking this box okay don't want to open the debug console and if i go back to my account object all accounts what is the name of the account i think rajesh testing something right do you see the rajesh testing record here we go this is the record account number is what three to one and active is true is active this is true clear so this is how you simply insert record inside account a very simple syntax my question to you is this now what if i have to insert let's say three records Rajesh testing one, two, and three with same details, same account number, same active. How do you do this? You'll we'll copy the same code and put it like this. Control V, Control V, because it cannot be same account, same reference variable. So you just put ACC one, 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 and here ACC two, two. That's pretty good. And just to make sure the records are different, I'm going to put here Rajesh testing one, Rajesh testing two, testing three. This is good enough. This code will help me to insert three records Rajesh testing one, two, and three. Here we go. If I go and try to see the data, look at my data. I have Rajesh testing one, two, and three. Now, my question to you is this. See here, I have used three insert command. So three time I have used my DML operations, right? How do I make sure I use only one insert statement 
and all this 3 or 3000 or 30 whatever record I write here will be inserted with only one single insert statement. How do I do it? I think if you understood my last video, you can answer these questions, right? Let me show you and see if you have thought about the same thing or not. So we have to take a list here. List of what? Account. And uh, put name ACC list. New list of account. And after that, what? Sorry. ACC ACCLISD. Next is you have to go and add the variable here. ACC list dot add. Add what? Add ACC. Got it? Copy the same line. Paste it here. Copy the same line. Paste it here. This is account 1. This is ACC 2. That's it. Do you think this record will help me to insert all this record? Yes or no? If I call this method, will my record, which is, uh, let's say, 4, 5, 6. Do you think this records 4, 5, 6 will be inserted? Yes or no? Let me just quickly call this. Execute. Refresh. Where is my data? I have only 1, 2, 3. Where is 3, 4, 5, 6? I hope you got the reason, right? Because, see, I just have inserted the variable inside this list, but I am not inserting it. Where is the insert statement? See, until and unless you write INAC at insert or update or delete, Salesforce will not be able to do this operation for you. And as I told you, before you do the insert, what you have to do? You have to check if you have to put this not right. If not, this list dot is empty. Correct? You are checking if this is this list is not empty, then you go ahead and uh, update, not update, insert, insert this list. Very simple. This is an actual code now. You are not writing this insert, insert statement multiple times. You are checking before you uh, do the insert operation whether this list is empty or not. And then you are updating. So now if I execute this method, what will happen? Record name 456 will be inserted. Right? If I refresh, here we go. 4, 5 and 6 has been inserted. Make sense? So, uh, let's go and see one thing here. Uh, suppose I'm taking a variable, one, one, another variable. The variable name is ACC list one. Check this out. And I'm trying to insert INSERT this variable. Copy this. What's going to happen now? See, this variable I just have declared. This variable holds nothing. This variable is empty. What if I go and insert this? By the way, I have to comment this. I don't want to reinsert this four, five, six records again. Do you know how to comment that code? You have to put this. The moment you put this slash forward slash, no? Uh, what do you call this? Forward or backward slash? No, maybe it's a forward slash only. So you have to use this forward slash before the line, whatever you want to comment. What does it mean? It means this line it will be invisible. It will not be executed. Control S. Now, I want to show you something here. If you execute this method, see, you get no error. The record has not been inserted definitely because there is no record that's supposed to be inserted, but you get no error. But still, the best practice is always you should check the list if it is empty or not. All right, so you have to check if the list is empty before you perform the insert update delete operations i hope this insert statement is very much clear all right uh, in this same apex class i'm going to go and uh, show you how to do update and delete so we'll write two more methods like insert update we'll write update method uh, and delete method and we'll try to do a little bit of update and delete operation in the same code okay see you in the next video